Here are the six best GPUs that you can buy right now. Starting off this list is the best bang for your buck GPU, that being the RTX 3060 Ti. This is a little bit over $600 over on Amazon and is an amazing graphics card for 1440p and 1080p gaming. It's also entering territory of 4K gaming, but do not expect high frame rates at that resolution. Now before the best budget GPU, I do want to say that the links to everything will be down in the description below, like always. I'm going to have both eBay and Amazon links for those of you that do have a preference. So the best budget GPU is the RTX 3050. This is a little bit over $300 and it makes a great GPU to buy for 1080p gaming. And to clear things up with PC 1080p and console 1080p, there is a very noticeable difference between console and PC resolutions. Not only are textures enhanced on PC, not only are shaders enhanced on PC, but there are lots of graphical settings on PC that enhance your visuals to make the 1080p gaming look much better than what a console will ever provide dlss being the most well-known option to choose so now time for the big guys the gpus that i personally would end up grabbing first up is the best graphics card period for both creatives and gamers that being the rtx 3090 i'm sure that this was no surprise to you but it is hands down the nuttiest graphics card on the market right now editing and video rendering is extremely fast playing games at 8k over 100 fps is more than doable the three cons about this thing is that one it is extremely expensive two it's pretty big so you're going to need a decent sized case to put this in and then three you need a really, really good PC when buying this graphics card. You do not want your computer being bottlenecked because you have a slow CPU and slow RAM. To take advantage of something like this, all of the other components, including the power supply, are going to need to be very good. I promise that I'm not leaving AMD off of this list. The AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT is a great GPU and is entering 3090 performance for about $300 cheaper. However, on a personal level, this is the only AMD GPU that I would ever consider buying. This is an amazing GPU for 4K gaming. This is not the best for creators and also not the best with ray tracing. I am not saying that this is a horrible GPU, but compared to the RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti, which are actually both cheaper, it cannot compare with those two and why I am such an Nvidia fan because I am a creator. AMD's new GPU lineup might end up changing my mind about that, but for right now, Nvidia is hands down my go-to graphics card. So the next two cards are of course the RTX 3080, which is about $800, and then the 3080 Ti, which is about $1000, at least as of the time I'm making this video. The 3080 is a great GPU for 4K gaming, and it stays extremely cool. It's not that warm of a graphics card like comparing it to the 3090 or the 3080 Ti. The 3080 Ti is my personal favorite GPU for the 30 series because yes, the 3090 is the best of the best, but the 3080 Ti is pretty close to that level, but a few hundred dollars cheaper. It's decent for 8K gaming. You're not gonna get over 60 FPS with it, but it's still good for that. It's good for video editing, and it's not a massive GPU to where you need this huge PC case. Really, the only cons about the 3080 Ti is that it is a very power hungry GPU. So I do have a thousand dollars, but do you want this? I'm actually being serious right now. One thousand dollars for the PS5 stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna I gotta, give you both. I got it. I was gonna say problems. Racing wheel. Oh, that is dope. We got PS5 faceplates, headset. Oh, those are really cool. I've seen these. 